Okay, then let's start with uh, the first speaker, which is uh, Maria Niku from uh, the Finnish Literature Society. Right. So, hello everyone. I'm from the Finnish Literature Society, and unfortunately we are not members yet, but we are joining soon, so that's going to happen. Um, so, Finnish Literature Society was founded in 1831 for the advancement of um, written Finnish. In fact, the Finnish word for literature was invited for, uh, invented for the purpose. Um, so, we have large archives of uh, handwritten uh, Finnish documents, from, especially from the 19th century. And so we are in a good position to develop models for public models for, for Finnish handwritten text uh, of the era. Uh, and while there are already uh, several models for Swedish language uh, from 19th century, such models do not yet, yet exist uh, for Finnish. So um, we are taking um, 19th to early 20th century diaries uh, written in Finnish uh, by signif significant cultural figures um, uh, and going one writer at a time. And we have two goals. Firstly, uh, to produce automated transcriptions that are good enough for uh, fussy searches. In other words, uh, with distances of no greater than two characters. And the longer term goal is to create models with multiple hands that would be useful uh, with many kinds of Finnish handwritten materials. Um, so mostly, uh, or at least uh, judging by uh, our first example, Aspelin Harpkula, the diaries are pretty easy in terms of layout and even lines and so on. But there are some challenges. Namely, the first one is that diaries uh, often span several decades, uh, which means that the style of writing changes uh, due to changing conventions for, of writing and the writer's age. And that creates the problem of selecting the training material so that it um, um, is rep representative of uh, all the materials, but not too large uh, compared to the total size of the materials. And the second problem or challenge with the diaries is that they are normally written for own use, which means that they are careless, so to, be, so to speak. Uh, for instance, with Aspelin Harpkula, uh, the letter A is often left open, which means that it's looks the same as A or U or N. Uh, R and S look the, look the same, uh, H and K and so forth. Uh, so these kinds of um, random carelessness is understandable to human readers, uh, but it's a different kind of situation for the machine. So the results so far, we are only just starting with uh, some of the first models created, is that uh, we have a model of about 40,000 uh, characters, and it's looking quite, quite uh, promising with uh, smallest uh, character error rate at about 5%, a, a bit, bit under. Uh, but as to our first goal, um, it isn't good enough yet. As you can see, there are um, a number of uh, words with uh, distances of over two letters, uh, which either does or doesn't matter, depending on what the user search for. So it matters a great deal for personal or place names. Um, but uh, at the moment, I'm not at so, at at all certain that uh, there's anything to be done to improve the re results. Um, one of the means may be that uh, 
the National Archives kindly gave us, the, gave us some 600,000 words, if I remember correctly, of uh, Finnish uh, training data. So we'll have to see if it, if it works. So that's about for me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.